Well, idea since I'm so good at intros. Wondering where Tanner is. He actually isn't that far from us right now. He is uh he's taking his morning, his morning grom ride. Oh, I think I I think I found him. Oh, there he is. Okay. This is little T Fox going to get himself some coffee. Hey, hey, are you Tanner Fox? Can you say hi to my vlog? Oh hi. Hey, good morning, Fox fam. Welcome back to the <laughs> vlog. People always tell me I didn't film on my grom more, so we're trying to do so. We're gonna go get some coffee. Taylor's in the Fiat gang. I am. What's happening with the Fiat? Thanks, thanks for vlogging for me. We're almost there, guys. This is the real question. Who would win in a race? The Fiat or the Grom? Look at that puppy. Almost as cute as Duncan. Hi, puppy! You don't have as much clout as our dogs, but you're definitely getting there. We're all just kind of getting family coffee. We're getting some family as a coffee. They are going to do some errands and film some stuff. Yeah, they're probably gonna go up to the warehouse. We just woke up, getting our caffeination. We got the Fiat gang. We have the Grom gang, and it's that's a good start today. Taylor, give us some words of wisdom and some words of inspiration. Like, Inspire the people. If you feel like you don't want to get out of bed today, just push yourself to get out of bed and get something done because once you get something done, then you'll feel really great about yourself and then you'll be motivated for the rest of the week. What she said, yeah. to say the least. Coffee kind of sucked. Hey, Bob. All right, Taylor. What is this? I get a kiss. What is this? What's this stuff? I don't kiss you. You're like my. You're like a sister to me, Taylor. I would never do that. Come on, don't be weird. You're gonna have fun in your Fiat. I'm gonna take the Grom, we're headed back to the house. They grow up so fast. Bye, Taylor. Have fun in your beautiful dream car that I bought you two days ago. And if they missed the vlog, be sure to check it out. This is what it looks like. They're off. Uh, Taylor's cheating on you with Shay. They're totally a thing. Um, let me let me get this straight for you guys one time. Shay is Taylor's personal assistant, personal filmer, personal editor, and friend it's not weird guys people love to start drama but you know, I'm just gonna explain that once so that you guys are clear because I, I get it I get it you know but um, yeah if you want to still comment though that's engagement and I'm all about that so if you want to comment about that that's totally cool but I just I'll, I'll explain it once five minutes later bye Kirby bye Kirby God you're so rude bye Kirby you really gonna ignore me like that in front of my vlog embarrassing me in front of everyone on today's agenda, we are headed up to the warehouse. We're gonna have some scooter sessions. I really wanna film a game of scoot. Like I mentioned a few vlogs ago, uh, I wanna start filming more scooter videos for my scooter followers as well as my vlog. Mateo just got here. He's gonna grab his scooter and we are taking Vanessa all the way up to the warehouse and we're gonna session the mini ramp. The other night we were there. It was like me, Coda, and Hunter and we were all just sessioning the mini ramp for like four hours. It was so much fun. A few moments later. What's up guys? I'm Tanner Fox. Um, I've been racing for like 17 years now. We're headed around the Texan street. We're about to street race some cars. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Come on, bro. Get up here. He wasn't even ready. Let's go. Oh, this guy wants it. Actually, we uh, passed Clayton's. We did. It was the Lux exit. It would be a shame if someone were to do an illegal U-turn. Good thing we're in Mexico. A few moments later. There's a lot of shoes over here. There's a lot of shoes. Oh, would you look where we are? Holy sh! Are those all Tech Decks? How did you get all these? You know the ledge you sit on in Esco? Yeah. It's like under there, there's boxes of them. And there's scooter parts. Everything. This is the home of the Undialed Boys. Well, explain to us, what is this? For the so, people that don't know. We got miniature rails, miniature everything, and miniature skateboards. So, <laughs> so my- 
This is what uh, Will normally lives here also. So Will and Clayton love fingerboarding. Well, he got me into it in, we were in Germany, we went to a shop and I got into it. Because there was like, show us some stuff, bro. Are you sponsored? Dude, I've been sponsored for years. Are you kidding me? Let me try this bro. Get it. Oh, what was that? All right, we're gonna hop up here, hit the nose. Oh. Uh. Are you sponsored? Trick, trick back, down onto the hubba nose manual. Oh. I kind of fell, bro. What up? Uh, See that smooth landing? First That's how pause. We do it. That's how we do it. Dang, this is legit. Look at their wrapping stuff, guys. T Fox brand's gotta step it up. We don't have stuff like this. This is just the packaging. I completely forgot to even mention this. Clayton is like a very large portion of the reason I started this vlog channel back in the day. We were riding the mini ramp. Long story short, you guys were just on tour, you and Will, for how long? Three and, and, and a half months. Three and a half months? These guys were traveling around the entire, all of Europe, really, yeah, we right? To, yeah, we went to 23 countries. Wow, so they were on tour, like, traveling, just having fun. And that's like a perfect example. I love pushing this stuff on you guys. Like, follow your dreams. They wanted to go on tour, and they did it for three months. And you guys probably have the time of your life. Like Tanner said, honestly, just like, if you guys have a goal, go and do it, no matter what anyone else thinks. A lot of people doubted that we could do the trip, and we did it. So, screw the haters. Dude, respect. That's awesome. Mm. Everyone good? Everyone ready to go? I think this will be the first yeah. legit scooter session at the warehouse. Vincent, me, Mateo, Clayton, and then Coda and Hunter. So, it's going to be an awesome session. A few moments later. Oh, my gosh. Um, I didn't film that, but I just pulled my camera out of my pocket and I dropped it on the concrete, but we're good. It's still going. It's still going. This will be Mateo's first time at the warehouse. We're still waiting on a few new things. We also have a very special guest coming to uh, do some artwork on all of the walls in here. So that'll be super fun. Tennessee factory is far from being done, but um, for now it's, it's still awesome. We have the mini ramp done. Honey, I'm home. Hey. hey. So here it is, Mateo. Hello. Hello. Pretty cool, yeah? It's so much nicer. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's so colorful. That's 3D. Yeah, there's T Fox signs everywhere. We're going to take a few of these down. Um, but but for now, they're, they're good for now. But when we have our artists come in here, again, I want you guys to guess who you think it is. They're going to do this entire wall as well as paint 10 of your guys' names on this wall. So if you want to be entered into that giveaway, all you got to do is order anything on the website the entire month of February and you automatically get entered. And then 10 of your names will be painted on this wall. We're all gonna get set up, we're gonna do our stretches, and then we're gonna ride some scoots. So you've seen the title and thumbnail of this video. We just got down here to the warehouse. I am in the break room all by myself. This is a prank that I've been planning for the past like six months. I've never ever done a prank on Jessica. If you guys don't know who Jessica is, she's basically my business partner. She's like a second mom to me. She's awesome, she kills it at her job, but uh, the Fox family has never pranked her before, so I think this is gonna be perfect. Basically, my plan is um, I'm just gonna sit down with her. I'm gonna call her into her office after I set up my camera. I gotta wait till the time is right, um, and then I'm gonna call her in, and we're just gonna have a serious talk. We've always been on the same page from a business standpoint, whereas, like, if either of us are ever unhappy in our business um, relationship, that, like, I can go my way and she can go her way, there's no, like, contract ties that say she has to work for me for a certain amount of time or that you know we have to be partners so it's like it's it's that's that's another reason why i think this prank is gonna be very good because like we've always been so open with each other and whenever there's an issue we just talk about it or we always said like if there's ever a problem like no hard feelings um like we'll just there's no you know what i mean there's no strings attached so basically my plan is to call her in and tell her uh, I think I'm, I'm ready to use a different business. I gotta think about it a little bit more. I, I haven't really thought of the actual prank out a lot. I'm gonna think of a plan in my head before I go in for this. Tell her that I'm firing her and that um, I have a new team that I've been working on that we don't basically need her anymore. She's a little scary sometimes when she gets mad at me. She, like, she really yells at me. Drop a thumbs up on this video. Cop yourself some T Fox brand apparel. If you guys like any of it, there's a link down in the description. It's gonna be one of my biggest pranks yet. Like, I'm actually so scared. I've never pranked Jessica before. Wish me luck, please. I have to make sure this is set up perfectly. Hey Jessica. Yep. Can I talk to you for a second? What's up? Um, so I've been talking with like a lot of people about this lately and Like um, we're gonna have a serious conversation right now. Yes. We never have serious conversations. I know, but we're going to, so just I just wanna talk to you, like seriously. So I've been, you know, talking to a bunch of people about this and I've been thinking about it a lot lately and I've been talking to these other people. Um, basically, the gist of it is, um, I think, I think it's time for, for both of us. Like, I think I'm ready to kind of move on. Like, I know we talked about move on from what? This kind of whole ordeal. I've, I've been talking to other people. What about, do you mean? I'm trying. Like, this has been really hard for me. Like, I've been thinking about this a lot, and 
I really think it's time that, you know, I, I want to take this to the next step. And I just, I can't believe this. I seriously, I cannot believe you. What do you mean? I can't believe you. Look at all this work that I do every day for you. Jessica. No, no. no. Every day, every day, my life. This is all of my life. Everywhere. Jessica, all of this, stop. all of this. Hey. I work so hard for you. Jessica. And you just want to, you just want to go somewhere else? This is a serious, I'm being honest. I am being serious with you. I thought we've always see, seen eye to eye on this. And I, I do see eye to eye, and I want to make everything as good as I can for you, but you are just walking away? I'm not walking away. I want to still use this facility. I just think, like, I'm bringing, I want to bring in the team, and I think... No. The answer is I no. Just, the answer is no. Just like it's not up to you. It is up to me. How? Because. What do you mean? Without me, you can't do this. That's not true. That is true. Jessica. How is it not true? Explain to me how it's not true. Because there's other people. Do you realize what I do for you? I do, and I'm very Do you really? For it. Are you thankful for it? Yes, of course hmm. I am. Jessica, listen, I, it's not a discussion. Fine then, I'm going to leave right now. You don't even know how to lock this building up. Jessica, it's not, like, listen. You don't even I'm, know how to set the alarm. I'm not saying that you need to leave right now. I'm, I'm going to leave right this now. This is going to transition no. into no. someone else. No, the transition? Yes. What? So you want me to teach someone else what I do for you? No, not you don't need to do that. I'm just saying I'm not like fire. I'm not firing you right this second. You just said you were firing me. Yeah, Jessica, I. Are I, you firing? Listen, me? listen. No, answer the question. Jessica, this is. A it's a yes or a no. I mean yes. Like, you're firing me. Then let's go. Go where? I'm going home. Why? Would what you? about all your employees? All of our employees. How are we going to handle this? You're just going to keep using them? They're my employees. That's fine. I, I told you, I've been like, a lot has gone into this decision. It's, this isn't an overnight thing. I cannot believe you. Look, I just think, I can't believe you. I am so disappointed in you. I am so disappointed in you. You know, when my grandma told me she was disappointed in me, that was the hardest thing I ever could take. I'm disappointed in you. Why? Because. You don't even talk to me about this. I'm talking to you about it right now. Right now, it doesn't work. Well, why doesn't it work? You're here every day. You just decide that you're just going to... How long have you been brewing this up and planning this No, listen, I've been day. talking to a lot of different, like, business people. And, no. And I think there's a lot of potential for this to no. really blow up a no. lot more. I think and you're I just, crazy. That's what I think. Look, Jessica... Okay. No, you're crazy. Listen, I don't want to be having this conversation either, but, like, it's... What do you want me to say? I, like, I, I don't expect what do you, want you me to, to say? be, like, okay with you. want you? me to be happy? Oh, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Listen, Jessica. No, okay. I'm over it. I do all of this stuff every day. I have taught everyone Listen. how to do everything that they know in this building. I literally bend over backwards for you. I, you I plan everything for you. I do everything for you. And you're going to do this to me? Okay, I think you should really see twice. Okay, there's one more thing. No, no more things. No, there is. No, there's no more things. I don't want no more things. Jessica, no. No. There's one more thing that I need to do. I'm not okay with this. Listen, I know. At all. Just calm down. No, you're going to make me cry. I know this is hard. I don't even want to awesome. cry. This is stupid. Okay, there's, okay, there's something I here. I cannot believe you. There's no, I don't even want to hear it. Listen, there's one more thing. Jessica, seriously, stop. Jessica, you're acting like a three-year-old. I don't want to talk to you. There's one more thing. No! One more thing for you to just make me feel more like crap? My camera's right there. This is a prank. I'm going to seriously kill you. I swear to God. Oh. I'm going to kill you. Come on. I'm going to kill you. I'm serious. I'm going to kill you. It's still... Wait, did you actually believe me though? Yes! Why'd you do- why are you doing that? Why do you always have to put me through hell? Uh, Jessica, that was the first time I've ever pranked you. You bull! You throw all the pots Jessica. in here! No, 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 okay, listen. Okay, now that we're- now that I told you it was a prank, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate everything you do for T-Fox friend, and I think you need a hug. That was a prank, and I, it was really mean, I'm sorry. I didn't even know how to go about- I want a hug from you. Give me a hug.
I'm sorry. Don't ever do that to me again. When you were literally like, you're like, who are these people you're talking to? I, I hadn't planned that far ahead. I literally came up with this when I walked in because I never pranked you before. Oh my God. And then you were asking me, or you were asking me who I was gonna, who I was talking to, and I was trying to curb it so hard. Don't prank your parents, please. This see, is not nice. See, normally, normally after a prank, I'm like. Oh, like freaking out. <laughs> like it was so awkward. It's like hard to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> that was really awkward. I'm sorry. And I, honestly, that was the most ever, like adult conversation we ever had. I seriously might choke you. <laughs> All right, Fox fam. I'd be so sad if I didn't work for you anymore. I know. Me, I would be too. I would be too. Okay, uh, Fox fam. I think that went decently. Did I get you? Yes, you got me. Oh my Not God. nice at all. I swear, I have so many mixed emotions right now. Normally when I prank someone, I'm like all celebrating, but that was like literally the most awkward thing I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jessica. That was terrifying. <laughs> guys, in my head, let me be honest with you guys. In my head, when I was just explaining this prank, I was just thinking like, oh, I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna talk about, you know, I found other people and then I'm gonna say like, you're fired. But then I didn't even wanna say you're fired because I was like scared. And then it was just, it just got awkward. I mean, it worked. It, I got a good reaction, I think. Thank you guys for watching that prank. We're gonna go ride some scooters now. I'm gonna have the professionals kind of show us what's happening. We got Clayton, Coda, Hunter, Vincent, Jake, Mateo. All right, go guys, come on. You're ending off today's vlog for the boys. Yo! Oh! All right, just a fat sesh. Ooh. Okay. Got the flare. Double thing. Buttercup in. Ooh, what's he got though? What's he got? Player double down heel. Triple whip. Get him, Clayton. Show us who you made of. Height. Oh, he's down. Good work. Vincent, show us what's popping. Okay. 720. This is so entertaining. Five down heel. These are all like world-class riders. Keep in mind that, guys. Get him, Mateo. Oh, get him. Guys, Mateo's not just a filmer. He's got tricks. Oh, Coda, now for Coda. Everyone knows Coda. Everyone knows Coda. What the fuck? All right, in the cut, in the cut, in the cut. Oh. Woo! All right. All right, now, Jake, you're the last one. What do you got? Oh, 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 that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a fat thumbs up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that prank. It was so scary, Jessica's over there. I think she's still a little mad at me. Also, last thing, if you guys wanna cop yourself some T-Fox brand apparel, it is shipped literally out of this warehouse where the Tennessee factory is, and it's not even done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, let's roll the fox. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already and without further ado we roll the outro I wish you